So we're gonna go ahead and make Mississippi pot roast using a venison shank. This is a large shank from a white-tailed buck. Uh, this is our go-to roast cut anymore at our house. Uh, we've been pretty prolific in killing deer at our house the last few years, so we have a lot of shanks. And this is what we use for our low and slow recipes. We are gonna cheat a little bit today. We're gonna use an instant pot. This takes a six, seven hour cook and turns it into an hour and a half. Uh, we're gonna make Mississippi pot roast, which is basically an au jus packet, some pepperoncini, some dry ranch mix, a stick of butter. We are gonna add just a little bit of beef broth and we're gonna end up serving it over grits and serving it with a crusty bread and some provolone cheese. Um, stay tuned. So we're gonna turn our Instant Pot to saute mode. Uh, this is gonna allow us to actually sear the shank in there just to give it a little bit of color. Uh, there's enough sodium in a lot of these packets and in the salted butter that we don't need to season the shank. So we're just basically gonna stick it in there, brown it on each side, and then add the ingredients. We're taking our shank out of our vac seal bag. We're gonna go ahead and pat it dry. This will help uh, create a good sear. You don't have to worry about any of this membrane, any of this silver skin. All of it's gonna come off during this cook process. Uh, it's hard to believe, but 100% all that will melt down into nothing. All right, so our Instant Pot is hot. And so I'm just gonna add just a tablespoon or so of some uh, olive oil to help this shank from sticking. Probably have to cook this in multiple stages just because it's only so big in there. Uh, but we'll probably go two minutes on this side, flip it, two minutes on the other side, drop the other piece in. All right, so you can see it starting to shrivel up there, starting to get some brown. Okay, we're gonna go two minutes on this side. All right, we're gonna go ahead and remove this one. Drop in our other piece. All right, so this has been browning. We're gonna move it out of the way. We're gonna go ahead and grab our other piece. Set it down in there. All right, so we're done sauteing. We're gonna go ahead and hit cancel. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and add our ingredients. We've got the dry ranch. This is approximately three tablespoons. We've got one au jus gravy packet. We're gonna go add about five or six pepperoncinis and just a little bit of juice. We're gonna add a little bit of beef broth just to help balance the tanginess of the pepperoncini juice, and lastly, the piece de resistance, the uh, stick of butter. That's it. All right, so we're going to put our lid on. This will allow us to hit pressure cook, pressure level. We definitely want high. And then for cook time, we're going to go with an hour and a half on this. On young doughs, you may be able to get away with 45 minutes to an hour but this is a four year old buck. We're gonna go with an hour and a half. All right, so once you set it for an hour and a half, it'll automatically start and we're gonna let this go and wait for it to be done. We're gonna do a natural release, come back and see what we got. So we got two minutes left. We've been going for an hour and a half. What's gonna happen is uh, this is going to basically turn off and then it needs to have a natural release. Uh, it'll probably take 15 minutes or so. Uh, while that's doing that, we're going to get started on the grits. All right, so our water's up to a boil. We're going to in, add in our cup of grits. Stir to incorporate. And we're going to lower the temperature to low and let it cook for about 20 minutes. All right, so we've got a crusty loaf of French bread here. Um, we're going to put it in the oven. It's at 425 for about 10 minutes. Uh, we'll slice it on a bias and serve it with some nice warm butter to eat with our uh, Mississippi pot roast and grits. Stirring occasionally on the grits. 
All right, so what our Instant Pot here is showing us is that this is 15 minutes of a natural release. And what it means by natural is we're not um, manually relieving any of the pressure. If we wanted to do that, we would press this button down. You can hear and see that. There's not a lot of pressure coming out of there. Um, so we're pretty much done. We'll go ahead and get the rest of the pressure out. All right, so it just gave us a little click noise, which means we're uh, basically able to open it up. So we're gonna go ahead and open it. All right, so remember that membrane I was telling you about? It's pretty much gone. You can see here that the meat is falling apart with very little effort. So what we like to do is pull these pepperoncinis out. Some people in the house like them, some don't. So we can reserve those uh, to the side for whoever wants them. You also wanna make sure you don't lose the stems. All right, so it's broke up super nice. Um, then what we like to do is just take our slices of provolone cheese and stick them right in there to melt. These just get super melty. Again, we're serving this over grits. You could easily drain the meat with the provolone and put it on a hoagie roll for a nice sandwich. Just make sure you toast your bread so that the moisture doesn't make your bread soggy. All right, so our grits are getting pretty much close to being done. We're gonna add in a quarter cup of butter and a pinch of salt and pepper, another pinch of salt. Stir that, incorporate it, let it melt in, give it a taste test, and uh, you know, add more seasoning as needed. All right, let that butter melt. We've got our toasty baguette. It's been 10 minutes. It's got a nice brown crust to it. We'll let that cool. We'll slice it on a diagonal, butter it nicely, and let it soak up all the nice broth from that Mississippi pot roast. All right, so we're ready to assemble. Uh, what we're gonna start out with is some of our grits. So they've had a little bit of a chance to cool down. Personally, um, I like them to be a little bit thicker so that I can actually use my spoon to kind of cut into them bite by bite. So start out with some of that. All right, so we're gonna go in. See our provolone cheese is nice and melty. Get a good spoonful of that. And put it right on top of your grits. All right, so we've got our meat and our cheese and our broth over top of our grits. Uh, me personally, I like some of these pepperoncinis. I'm just gonna sprinkle some of those around. All right, on our bread here, this nice. Cut it at an angle. Okay, like that. And get yourself a good smear of butter. This is one of our favorite dishes uh, in the cooler months, but it can definitely be a great dish all year long. Um, the bread definitely helps soak up some of that broth. We'll go in for that first. The flavors of the au jus and the ranch um, are great. So again, as I mentioned, I like to kind of um, fork some of my grits. So that comes off there like that. The meat is so tender. This is a great application for shanks. Make sure you're not grinding those. Save them whole. Try Mississippi Pot Roast.